yeah, the success of the album, I think, uh, had the video for Renegade had a lot to do with with this, the initial success. Absolutely, I think it had all to do with the success because mm -hmm. it didn't really chart on the album on the singles charts. It didn't no, make it on no, the like exactly. something called tracks. That was kind of a radio chart back then. But as soon as it hit the the box pop mm -hmm. on on TV, uh, yeah, it yeah. skyrocketed. Yeah, TV, TV was, was unbelievable. But that was a cool cool year because we had Iron Maiden and Hammerfall like. Both of us were topping the charts yeah. at separate uh, First occasions. we had three weeks back to back, yeah. number one. And then they came out with the Brave New World. Yeah. And they were also number one, yes. you know, back three weeks back to back. So and you could only be three weeks on the list. Yeah, it's like three yeah. weeks and then you got kicked out regardless of your position. Yeah. So that, that was crazy. And I, I mean, kids went to the store, they had a, a hammerful single or album in one hand and they had maybe Spice Girls or Madonna yeah. in the other because yeah. they thought, you know, they liked both. So we reached out to a whole new audience. That, uh, and I think heavy metal reached out to a new, whole new audience. Because before that, it was a lot older cr people in the crowds. After that, we had uh, teenagers uh, and tons of them in the, in the crowd. And then it was not just Hammerfall, but that opened up, uh, the success opened up the, 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 the new younger generation for just any kind of metal, really. Yeah. Uh, so that was a huge, huge breakthrough for, for heavy metal or for metal music in Sweden. I remember we were at the Grand Hotel in Stockholm uh, playing poker, drinking whiskey with uh, Bruce Dickinson, yeah, cool. Iron Maiden singer, by the way. And um, the journalist who was there with us, he, he asked Bruce, okay, what, what kind of advice would you give to Hammerfall to, for them to be success, successful? Like, they're already successful. We're yeah. number one on the chart. Yeah. They're doing everything right already. Yeah, because that, that was a renegade charting chart entry was number one, and that was a huge deal. Not, I didn't understand how big it was at, at that time, but for for the record label, they were ecstatic for Nickel Blast. They, they were unbelievably happy with that. And I, wasn't it the first hard rock album to chart as at number one or to debut at number one in Sweden? A Swedish hard rock, I should say, since Europe, like '88 or something like that. Yeah, yeah, I think absolutely. That's, that's what it and was. also, like a metal album, a hard rock album, has yeah. not been number one for for very, very long yeah. time. And then, like they did this yearly thing, they just summarized the whole year. And then we were number one. Yeah, so it was Hammerfall number one, probably Iron Maiden number two, maybe, yeah. or Eminem number three, maybe some version of oh, those. Yeah, Eminem. He was in there. So wh whoever it was, I don't re really remember. I if he one. ever said our name. Yeah, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> but so that's just show you what type of, of level we're talking about yeah. because Eminem was hot at those uh, in those times, uh, and it was unbelievable for us too just to be mentioned the same uh, in, in the same area with these two uh, two giants. I think we set a pretty like a new standard for mm. for rock videos back then with yes. all, all this CDI. We're so. really ahead of our time with that video. I think that made the difference.